Hi, I'm Mike. And I'm Holly. Today's wine is a very, very good Reserva from Rioja. It's called Azadi 2011 Reserva, and this wine is 100% Tempranillo. Azadi apparently means nature in uh, Spanish, and we've done a few Riojas before and talked about Rioja. It's, uh, it's the name of the region, not the grape. Of course, Tempranillo is the grape, but Rioja is the region, and it's divided into three parts, the, the Baja, the Alavesa, and the Alta. This one comes from the Alavesa. In Rioja, they have classifications, and regular Rioja is just aged less than a year in oak. Um, Rioja Crianza, you'll see that word Crianza means it's been a full year in oak with another year in the bottle to develop. Reservas are aged a minimum of a year in oak and it's got to be a minimum of two years in the bottle. And then Grand Reservas are two years in oak and a minimum of three in the bottle for five year total. So Reservas are pretty high end in the Rioja lineup and this one has spent 14 months in yeah. American oak, and then another two years in the bottle. Right. The, the yeah, I, mean, I think for me, I've always thought that the reserve when they get to the reserve, it's it's sort of where the wineries start to get serious with uh, with the wine. Mm -hmm. And this is this is um, one of the more modern styles of uh, the reserve of Riojas that we've we've tried. We did the Montecillo a ways back, and that was a little more old world style. This has bigger, brighter fruit up front. Um, a little bit more round and assertive, but it's one of the, my f absolute favorites. It's and, amazing, and I, I like the traditional style too, and I think it's fun mm -hmm. when you start talking about Rioja, you'll hear that back and forth a lot more of a traditional style, more of a modern style. I like them both, but I think mm -hmm. it just depends on what you're having with it, but this is, the, the fruit in this is so nice and ripe, and I think for a more international palates, people right. like that versus the very earthy style, which is more traditional. Yeah. But, the, but this has some nice earth in it too, mm -hmm. even for a modern style. It has like the tannins of, and the structure of Cabernet, mm -hmm. but the fruitiness of Grenache, mm -hmm. and it's quite spicy. Mm -hmm. Dark and a little bit of red fruits, and uh, I, get, I got a little tobacco when I tried yeah, it earlier. A little bit of tobacco but and plenty of spice. Of spice. Rioja, I remember when I first had a Rioja, somebody was saying, you've got to try this wine from Spain. And I love the pronunciation Rioja, and um, and I, I first tried it. and I thought, you know, this is so unique. It's a taste of Spain mm -hmm. that a lot of yeah. people, you know, if you can't travel to Spain, here's a great way to to visit the country vicariously mm -hmm. through the gift of the vine because it's really a, such a beautiful wine. I think again, we're in the summer months. I think grilling. You know, lamb is classic in Rioja. Um, grilled lamb, um, I'm thinking even a grilled uh, lamb chop or, or even flank steak with like a salsa verde, a green sauce, would be excellent for a nice summer pairing for mm -hmm. this. And mushrooms. Like and you mushrooms, said, yeah. oh my yeah. gosh. Grilled mushrooms, garlic mushrooms, stuffed mushrooms. This is, again, that earthy flavor really mm -hmm. connects with earthy foods. Yeah, so mm -hmm. this is, a, I think it's, it's $14.99, it's 92 points wine advocate and uh, 90 points wine and spirits. I think it's a one of the best of the Rioja, Riojas that we have in the store. So um, I would definitely recommend trying this wine. Yeah. We have a lot of Rioja. This yeah, is do. for a Reserva. This is really, for $14.99, a great, great value. Yep. Yeah. All right, so once again, this is uh, Izadi's Reserva 2011 Rioja.